Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're going to take a look at a game that puts you in charge of keeping a graveyard. Yeah, you heard me right. And the game puts you in charge of making ethical dilemmas and very questionable decisions. And of course, I will hold myself to a very low standards when it comes to morals. Let's check it out. What kind of intro is this? I was like, is this me getting hit by a car? Or am I having flashbacks to the time I was actually hit by a car? Or is this someone dying and I'm gonna have to take care of the body? You've merely turned a new page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you. Yeah, as speaking as someone who did get hit by a car, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're about to become a YouTuber. <laughs> your new home is the graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? That's a valid question. It means you're a graveyard keeper now. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Well, that seems like good advice to me. Okay, let's find Jerry. <laughs> All right, well, I'm- uh, uh, okay, I dug up Jerry. He's a, a happy, bouncing skull. Yeah, just going for a walk with my skull, you know, just everyday stuff. Just having a chill day, me and my skull. Oh, my favorite Shrek character is here to greet me. It's Donkey. Got a fresh corpse from the town. I wish I could do an Eddie Murphy impression. Although I could pay someone to do it. I will say whatever you want in my best Eddie Murphy slash Donkey from Shrek impression. It is highly accurate and I will give small samples. Okay, let's hey, hear come it. come on, Shrek. You don't actually expect me to f*** Fiona, do you? Um, I- I- th I think we'll leave it up to our imaginations. Yeah. Okay, well the donkey gave me a corpse. He also complained that uh, some capitalist is putting, you know, him doing all the hard labor and he's not earning enough. He was leaning into communism a little bit, which I didn't expect from the donkey when I first laid eyes on him, but, you know, to each their own. Okay, I got a body. Um, the tutorial is telling me to bring him in there, but I'm just gonna take a little stroll around the place first. <laughs> With the body, you know, gotta get those gains, and it's the only way I know how to work out from my real-life experience. Wait, I can just throw it in the river? Okay. <laughs> just ruin the tutorial completely. Body goes in the river. Game over. I don't know how to play. I like this place. Feels like home. Oh god, I'd hate to see your interior design then. It would intimidate me and, and make me feel insecure as I have this style, but it's it's not as good. Like, I can't get the chains looking right. You've unlocked a new technology and got preparation place, pallet, and the ability to extract flesh. Okay, well, first day on the job, and I've picked up some very valuable skills. Okay, this game seems very, uh, fleshed out. Um, now that I've extracted the flesh, I can make a burger or a sandwich or some baked meat. So, um, that's great. Even my character is like, that's disgusting. I hate that I'm programmed into this game. Okay, well, I'm done with the body now, so I, I gotta get rid of it somehow. Uh, my- my gut just tells me throw it in the river, but I don't think the game wants me to. Like, the problem with this strategy is I'm gonna run out of plots, but, you know, the plot can just keep thickening if I keep throwing them in the river. Okay, let's dig him a grave and we'll put him up here. My, my first burial. This is so nice. This is such a special moment. Should I take a little picture? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's- that's going right up on the fridge. Oh wait, I should probably cover the body. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not gonna last very long. Okay, I'm done, skull guy. I've, um, uh, I've forgotten his name. So he's, uh, he's skull guy now. Here comes the bishop, he's your boss. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's such an annoying voice. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is mess is a mess. No, you you don't need to tell me that. Like I'm I am fully aware of that. Okay, I need to increase the graveyard's overall quality in order to get a promotion. Okay, well that should be easy. Your quality is at least five. I'll be pleased to promote you. Excellent. All right, we've got a goal. My current quality is minus twenty eight. <laughs> I'm wondering, can I fix it, like, today, so I don't have to wait for him to come back next week. I'll just get it in really nice condition. Well, these old graves are unsightly, and, well, I can't prepare- I can't repair them. I don't have the skills, so I'll just dig up the body and throw it in the river. Oh, no, it's not allowing me! I need some paperwork? I thought we were in medieval times. I want to put the evil in medieval and just start digging him up and throwing him in the river! Can I forge the paperwork? No, I can't. This sucks. Okay, I fixed it. Now it's- it's just neutral. It's not losing me anything. Oh, he's leaving. He doesn't want to hang out at night in the cold with me in a graveyard. What a loser. <laughs> okay, I'm following the magic arrow into the village now. Like, I- I don't know what I'm following it for, but I'm 
I'm pretty compelled to follow the thing. Oh, it led me to a dead horse. Like uh, a bar called the dead horse. Hello, sir. I would like to open a rival tavern so that when I'm beating you in business, I can say I'm beating a dead horse. I will change my entire life goal just for one pun. I <laughs> go into a total different business. When are you planning on opening the church? I have so much going on. Why is everyone looking to me to do everything? Plus, this village looks so small. It's like... Peak times for a tavern, there's four people in here. How many people will I have to bury? <laughs> Is there gonna be like a pandemic here in this little village? I just came in and said like, oh, I'm the new graveyard keeper. And then I immediately say, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. <laughs> Does your meat have a stamp? Um, no. <laughs> I'll be back later when the meat is no doubt rotten, but it'll have a stamp on it. There's this guy called Snake. I think he is a fake royal stamp. Well, with a name like Snake, he's hardly a good guy, I suppose, but who am I to judge? Okay, so I sell the bear burial certificates when I bury someone to the, the tavern keepers, so that's good. He's kind of got a lot of businesses going on under this one roof. Tom Bell. Tom. Oh no. Is she, is she singing? Is this a performance? I, I don't like it. Although the lyrics do speak to me. Shalabadubadabawa. <laughs> Croissant. Did, was that just Carol from Jimmy Neutron saying croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Demonstrate that you were worth talking to. <laughs> um, I can't do that. I'm gonna leave. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> local celebrity here. Everyone here is giving me a task, and all I want to do is throw bodies in the river. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. Oh, no, I have to kill things. I mean... I guess that's good because I can kill things and then bury things. Like, I'll be complimenting each of my jobs in that case. I don't have enough energy to fix the sword to do the fighting for him against these little slimes in his back garden. Come to think of it, why do I have to fix the sword? He's the blacksmith and I'm doing him a favor. Like, I have to do everything in this village and I just arrived. I'm just going home instead. At least I can follow my footprints. That's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna confuse future me by going through the fields. <laughs> oh Jesus, he jump scared me. He jumped out at me. And then he told me to go find edible mushrooms. I don't know if I should trust this skull. Even if he's not trying to get me killed, he doesn't exactly have brains. Like literally, there's, there's nothing in there. It's an empty skull. Skull. I have a basement? Oh, this is a nice basement. I, except I have goblins living in it. That that kind of sucks, but I, I'm sure we'll figure it out somehow. We'll either get along or I'll just kill them and then bury them. Like I'm the graveyard keeper. I have a perfect place to get rid of bodies. Anyway, we'll just ignore that for now. I wonder how soundly I'll sleep knowing there are goblins in the basement. Um, Apparently perfectly fine. <laughs> he just lied down and decided I sleep now. <laughs> I don't care about the goblin noises coming from the basement or the fact he could come up here and murder me in my sleep. Uh-oh, maybe he did. <laughs> Is that my ghost? We do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. Okay, now I'm doing favors for the dead. I, it's not going to be long before I'm committed here. They're going to take me away. It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. That's it. He's going in the river because a ghost told me so. That'll hold up in court when the village find out what I'm doing. Oh, where are my footprints? Why did past Kevin go through the fields? <laughs> I hate past Kevin. Okay, sorry, buddy. You've been mean to the other ghosts. You gotta go. I'm taking your body out of the ground. All right, here we go. <laughs> I wonder, can I just take it into town? Like, I have to take care of those slimes, so I might as well take the body over there and then come back and dump him in the river. Say what you want about my character, but he is strong as I don't know what. He's running running all the way to the village and out through the village while holding this body over his head. Hey bro, what's up? Since you're making me do your job, I thought you could do mine. Can you take care of that body for me? He's going inside. <laughs> he doesn't want to be an accessory to whatever it is this is. All right, come here, you slime. Perfect. He's full of green jelly, like myself. Mmm, <laughs> green jelly. Oh, I can't ruin their crops. That's a shame. I'd love to ruin the village's harvest. Well, the good news is the slimes are dead. The bad news is I can't get my reward because the blacksmith ran away. Um, I scared him off, so uh, I guess I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, you still need a certificate for the meat? I got a fresh one for you here. <laughs> I just come into the tavern with a body. Do you know how I can get back home? Just for some directions. You're at the dead horse. Yeah. I, I'm at the dead horse with the dead corpse. I understand that, but I want to go home. Can I give you the body? I can't. This is the only business you don't indulge yourself in. You got everything else going on. You know, if I didn't know any better, and I don't, this seems like discrimination against graveyard keepers. This is a hate crime. I'll tell you one thing. When he dies, 
He's going in the river. Much like this guy. Get out of here. Don't be mean next time. You hear me, corpse? You hear me? <laughs> Don't be mean to the other ghosts. There's someone off in the background just seeing all this unfold. They just see me running after the corpse along in the river, just berating it. I'm asking the real questions here to my skull friend. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they really are. Thank you so much. Wait. No. Hey. Oh, I get like a little summary of all the, the characters here. At least they can remember their names now. Oh, Snake is the goblin in the basement. Okay, I need to meet him. So I'll have to free up that space. Oh, and Donkey. He delivers bodies from a left-wing stable. <laughs> yeah, I did get that impression. He was really pushing the communist agenda, my Donkey. You ever just say a sentence and you're like, hmm. I wonder has that sentence ever been said before? I don't know what this is giving me. Like every time I dig up one of these shrubs, uh, I get like some serotonins and I get these little green gems and the serotonins are great. I'm loving those. I, I'm really like, just like, yeah. Feed me more. This is all I have, please. <laughs> but the green gems, I don't know what they are. Okay, well, whatever they are, I got lots of them. <laughs> That's all I know because I cleaned up the entire left side of the graveyard. <laughs> Now I sleep. I know it's the, the least of his worries, but his sleeping schedule is just destroyed. <laughs> I just sleep whenever. <laughs> it's a good thing he's self-employed. He doesn't have anyone to answer to. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Oh, please don't show me mine. <laughs> you better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo! <laughs> I don't know if he's crying or like doing the stereotypical ghost thing. I went for the second one because, you know, it, it's just kind of what ghosts do. I don't know, was that kind of discrimination on my part? Sorry to the ghosts if it was. A corpse gets its, I guess, honor, we'll call it, from its body parts. You can change a corpse's honor by removing organs and embalming. So what, you're saying like, oh, someone's liver could be evil? That's the dishonorable part? We'll take that out? I, get, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe, like, I try and keep mine cleansed, mostly with vodka. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll follow the instructions. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I wonder, is this how they're delivered? Or like, or was the body just dumped here maliciously? I'll take it to the morgue and see if they're a sinner. If they're a sinner, they're gone in the river. <laughs> That's the old family motto. Okay, they're they're more good than evil. Let me take their flesh. Okay, they're, they're neutral now. Well, that's a shame. It turns out their flesh was, um... Mostly the good part of them, so that, that kind of sucks, but oh well. Here, this one's not being used anymore. You can have this grave. <laughs> Need a technology. <laughs> That's what I do when I don't know how to to do something. Rather than go, oh, I, I don't know how to do it. I, I like to save face and go, oh, needed technology. Well, if I needed technology to cut down a tree, how am I supposed to get wood? I, I need to fix up the graveyard before the bishop comes. Ah, so this is where all the emeralds go. It's into the skill trees. So for example, I can unlock sawing. What the hell are you? No, oh, no, uh, who the hell are you? No, what do you do? He sells ceramic bowls. No, I'm not in the market for that. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my graveyard business off the ground. Well, actually, I guess I'm Getting my graveyard business under the ground. It would be weird if I was taking it off the ground, like some sort of elevated structures. Although it would make us stand out. I'm just approaching everyone at night. <laughs> That's just the kind of guy I am. You know, friendly. That's what I mean. Do you have any fresh beef? She just walked away from me. That's not very good customer service. Who cares if it's in the middle of the night and I'm sneaking up in her. Do you have any fresh beef? I got a new task to make this guy a good axe. And in return, I'll get pasta. Although, I don't really want the pasta, and also I don't know how to make an axe, so I don't know why my guy just agreed to that. He's running around the swamp at night like, oh, gotta figure out how to make an axe. Do I have to summon it? Do I combine objects? Who knows? It's such a complicated tool. There we go, I figure out how to chop down trees. That other uh, um, lumberjack dude told me specifically not to cut down these trees, because they were his trees. But let me tell you something. I'm still cutting down the trees. Oh, it's the bishop, my boss. He runs into me and I have done no improvement to the graveyard and I'm running in the wheat fields with a massive log. Oh, what is this, a cutscene? Inquisitor's joy. What? I don't know if I want to know what this is. I, I don't like the sound of it, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't like his voice. It's like the worst ASMR I've ever heard. Jerry wants a beer from the tavern. I got something else going on right now, Jerry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, that's nasty. I don't like that. There's a witch burning uh, ceremony. I just told him it would be my honor to attend with him. He asked me how did I get my position. I'm going to tell him about the real world, even though it's going to kind of confuse him because getting hit by a car doesn't make much sense when you don't even know what a car is. I don't think it's an appropriate time for jokes. Well, sorry. <laughs> God, bishops are so uptight. Oh, no, sorry. Great Inquisitor. Yeah, he's he's like above the bishop, I guess. He's my boss's boss. So I'm gonna get the bishop fired by becoming friends with this fella. Like, we go to witch burning ceremonies together. The bishop wishes he was me right now. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. Look, Mr. Big Words, I'll bury you myself if you don't shut up. The dark cult is rising, he's saying. Stop calling me out. Long live the great inquisitor. Yeah, unfortunately, not long live for this person. They're just being burned. So you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? This guy's good at small talk. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. <laughs> Unless you give me money, I'm not gonna be your friend. I don't trust the villagers they refuse to lay in their graves after death yeah um one like got up last night and ran into the river it was it was so weird yeah i'm gonna be his friend everyone needs a friend and i'm everyone right now i i have nobody in this village who likes me all right well um we made a friend i guess <laughs> i don't know if we have any common interests i don't know how we'll stay friends i'm not really into the whole human burning thing kind of over it. It's kind of boring to me now. Oh, it's my donkey. What's up? Oh, not now. Well, I, I'm not going to let you get away from me that easy. You're going to have to push me all the way to my house if you want to talk there. Like I walked all the way out here already. I'm certainly not walking back. There we go. Thank you for the lift, donkey. I got another body out of this. He's not so bad, that donkey. Okay, so I could learn to take their bones. That might be fun. <laughs> I'll unlock that one. And, uh, well, then I guess I'll take your bones. And I'll take your skull, too. I might need that. I mean, my only friend at the moment is this little fella, so I could use another friend. I could take their skin and their flesh, but, uh, the body's kind of neutral now. It's gone down in quality, so I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I hope they don't have to exhume the body at any point, and they realize that this body has absolutely no skeleton in it. In fact, it's probably better to just cover my tracks, so I'll just throw it in the river. <laughs> Who knows where that river goes? <laughs> as long as it doesn't go into the village, I should be fine. And even if it does, who says it was me? Honestly, a donkey came by with a body. You're gonna trust a donkey over me? Actually, don't answer that. A corpse hatch. So I guess the donkey could just drop it down there. No, I'm okay with carrying the corpses inside. It's one of my favorite parts of the job, actually. What I should be trying to do is to clear this path. So maybe I can try that. Oh, no, I need I need more wood. Wood wedges and wood planks. Can I destroy these, I wonder? I can, yeah. Just chopping wood down in the basement. <laughs> one of my favorite hobbies. It's either that or extracting bones. I love them both. <laughs> if anyone approached him, They'd be like, yeah, I can kind of see why he's the graveyard keeper. He's best kept at a distance off here by himself. Just stealing bones from bodies. I'm so refreshed. Yeah, that's because you weren't haunted for one night. Finally, they've left you alone and you were sleeping with a skull. So it was kind of a miracle, really, that he didn't get haunted. So what do I need to do to make wooden planks? Okay, I need quite a lot of points. I... <laughs> I'm gonna actually have to do something with my life to gain experience. Well, I cleaned out the basement at least. That's something. Oh, damn it. I, I woke up from my nap and I accidentally napped again. This is the most relatable character ever. Okay, so I think I need a sawhorse. Let me clean the garden first. <laughs> this whole place is just a disaster. Who was looking after this graveyard before I came along? Oh no, my rusty shovel broke! I'm nothing without my rusty shovel! Oh, another body. <laughs> I better take care of it. The graveyard is starting to pile up. Well, no, actually, the river is starting to pile up. I don't know, they're gonna create a clog, but I'll just say it was like beavers. They're evolving. They're starting to gather bodies and create dams. Okay, so I took all the bone. I'm gonna take all the flesh. I'm gonna take the skull. I'm gonna take the skin. I'm gonna take a nap and then continue with the skin afterwards. It's kind of a two-day job, really, to take apart an entire body. I'm so refreshed! <laughs> this guy wasn't a graveyard keeper until two days ago, and all of a sudden, he's just taking out bones, skulls, flesh, and skin, and sleeping like a baby after it. Okay, well, I've destroyed the body. <laughs> that means one thing and one thing only. This body is going in the river like the other bodies. Oh, this is the bishop. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what you looked like. This area is closed due to cultist activity. Why do you keep calling me out? Oh, no, I took water from the well, and now it's falling following me around. Go away. It thinks I'm its dad or something. Go away. 
H2, go away! Another body has arrived. Oh, that river is gonna get so toxic. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Alright, I don't know what I did. I think I'm becoming toxic. Nature's fighting back. Well, it doesn't matter because I made it to my house and I think I got enough points to unlock stoneworking. I did. Okay, I just took the flesh and the skull from this one, and now I'm gonna dump it in the river. See, I had a bit of a rookie mistake that I d took too much, so it's just gonna float on down there. If it sinks, it's hidden for good. There we go, happy swimming, and now I'm off to get the skull a beer. Come on! Come on, dude! Alright, that's it, I'm overtaking. Hey, I need a beer that a skull would drink. <laughs> Have a beer, it's on the house. Great. He put my beer on the house. How am I supposed to get it down? Arr, bad luck. Not today. You're playing against yourself. How are you losing? Well, the important thing is I can now feed my skull a beer. He's very dehydrated. He looks very sunken. If I give him this beer, it'll give him 20 friendship. That's gonna make him my best friend in town. The first advice the skull gave me was to stop telling everyone that I'm from a different world. And that's probably a good idea given that I, just yesterday, I watched them burn someone to death for God knows what reason. Like, we're in medieval times. Maybe they went, oh, I think it's gonna rain today, and it rained, and they immediately just go going, Witch! Witch! <laughs> now he wants wine. All right, I'm just enabling the skull to be an alcoholic, but then again, he doesn't have much else to do, so I guess I'll... I'll do it this one time. Okay, I need a carpenter's workbench, and for that I need flitches. Whatever flitches are, I, I don't know what they are, but I can make them. I'm gonna make some flitches. Ah, yes. Flitches. <laughs> I love how it doesn't even plop it down. It just lands everything in one place and it's like, okay, build it then. But my guy's exhausted, so I don't know if I can. All right, I got it done just about. And now I can make wood repair kits, but I need to make planks first. Oh, he's running out of energy. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Once again, his sleeping pattern remains incredibly erratic. At least this guy has an excuse. He's literally haunted. <laughs> he is haunted nearly every night. There are dead people rising up against him only because he chucks a few bodies in the river. I just sleep bad because I'm undisciplined. Oh, I need more flitches. <laughs> how do I make more flitches? I think I'd need a log, but I don't even know how I got the original log. I think I just felled a tree and I just got one. I'll, I'll try that. I mean, it makes sense. You knock down a tree, you get logs. I know it came across stupid, but I've knocked down a few trees and I didn't get any logs. All right, well, I knocked down the first tree and I got a log, so now I just seem insane. Now we're really on a roll. I've gotten these little carpenter wood repair kits and I can use that to improve the graveyard, impress the bishop, and unlock the church. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more. Okay, well, I gotta knock down a good few trees then. The morning is just starting to break and now I'll need to go to bed again. <laughs> Now I understand why in like movies and TV shows it's such a cliche to have graveyard keepers working in the night and scaring the protagonists. It's because they're up all night doing everything. I didn't realize they had to do this much work. I thought they just buried people. Turns out you gotta bury people. You gotta throw people in the river sometimes. You have to take care of your skull. You get haunted a lot. That comes with the job. And also you like, you're friends with it. The Inquisitor and you, you burn people. Well, day is just starting to show its face, so I'm gonna hide mine in bed. Okay, I have a little minor problem. Um, well, actually, it's not a minor problem. It's a carpenter problem. Uh, there's a plank of wood stuck here, <laughs> and it's blocking my bench. Maybe if I go use the toolkits, I'll have room in my inventory. I've not been paying attention to my inventory at all. Ah, oh, yes. I'm carrying three skulls, some skin, and four pounds of flesh. There we go. Yeah, that, that solved my issue right there and then. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't realize I was... Wait, the, the task queue? What is going on here? Can I even make this amount of them? Ten? Oh my god, I can. Okay, well, that's good. Oh no, wait, I made four. Oh, well, that's still good enough. I might be able to get the graveyard in good enough shape that the bishop will be proud of me. Oh, there's been another body dumped here. Like, I don't even know if it's the donkey bringing them at this point. People could just be dropping them off for all I know. Okay, so this body is actually a pretty good shape. I'm gonna try and not destroy this one. I'm just gonna bury it straight away in decent shape and see does it help my graveyard. I love how the game is graveyard keeper and all I've been doing is throwing them in the river. I'm not keeping any graves in good condition. And I get money for the burial certificates. I should be burying them. It's just, you know, it's a lot of work. <laughs> the good thing is doing all these practical things also gives you XP. So I'm unlocking more stuff that I can do, which is pretty handy because right now he's fairly limited. Like he came from a different world, like modern day, and he's to take care of a graveyard. Rightfully so. 
He has no idea what he's doing, and neither do I. Okay, I'm guessing I need a furnace. I'm not gonna look into this whatsoever, though, so I just hope I'm right. <laughs> Looks like my dad trying to fix the television. Okay, so how does this work? I get fuel, and then I go into craft, I guess, and I try and make as much iron as I can. All right. That's going incredibly slow. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do, so I'll just leave that open fire, do its work, and go to sleep. If anyone, I don't know, someone passes and just falls in, I'll just say they were a witch and I'm covered. <laughs> we're in medieval times. It's not that hard to cover up a murder, especially as the graveyard keeper. Oh man, after my full sleep, it's still not done. It's almost there. Yes, I got some iron. <laughs> I don't know what to do with iron, though. You know, I liked the footprints at the start, but now they're just everywhere because I get so confused at what I have to do. I end up walking in circles. The place is a mess. Okay, so I want to be able to make the wooden anvil to make nails. There we go. He's a man of many talents. He has to do so much. <laughs> this one guy. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about earlier. If there is a main character in this game, it's certainly not me. And they're going to show up soon. And I'm just going to be working on graves in the middle of the night. I'm going to give them a heart attack. Yes! Finally, we've achieved a new height in our quality of graveyard. We're neutral now. <laughs> Simple gravestones. Okay, I'll unlock that because right now all I can do is repair them. So I have these empty ones with nothing. Oh, I don't have the actual materials to build it. Okay. Well, now I have the knowledge, but I still have nothing. Oh, this is what I want, the wooden cross. So I'm just going to need more wood, because then I can make more nails, make more planks, and we're golden. We'll be able to open up the church. Finally, a place to confess my sins. I'm not actually going to tell anyone, because even if they're bound by law not to tell anyone or their beliefs or whatever, I, I feel like they'll tell someone. I've been doing some pretty bad stuff, like throwing bodies in the river. Pretty next level when it comes to confessions. I don't know how many Hail Marys it would take to write off those sins. I don't know, by the way, should I be, like, planting trees to replace the ones I've been cutting down, but... I'm gonna go with no <laughs> and just hope for the best. I don't even know how to make firewood. Come on, that's not really something you should have to learn. Oh wait, I do know. I just need a chopping spot. <laughs> I need a dedicated chopping spot, otherwise I refuse to do it. I'll freeze. I'd rather that then have to do it on the non-chopping spot. <laughs> All right, chopping spot. This this isn't really well thought out. My whole garden plan is a little bit all over the place. Okay, I can get 90 fuel from firewood. That's pretty good. And then I'll just throw in some ingots, I guess. Every morning he wakes up and he's just like, I'm so refreshed. God, I wish that were me. <laughs> now that I'm actually crafting loads of stuff as well, I'm getting loads of experience points, which is fantastic because he really needs some life skills. Oh, and crafting like grave markers gives you loads. All right, I think this will be enough to impress my boss. Although that's setting kind of a low bar. It's like, look, boss, I made some crappy grave markers. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, you're the, the graveyard keeper. In fact, that's the least I'd expect from you. Well, if you're not going to compliment me, perhaps I should put you in the body box. Oh, there's my boss. If I can impress him today, I can get the church opened right now. There we go. Yes, this is great. Okay, one more, one more. Who needs? Ah, oh, you down the bottom corner, the neglected one. Yes. I, oh, wait, that's only to four. Oh, Oh, no. <laughs> I need another body that I can bury. Stat. Okay, I can remove this marker and I can add one of my better markers and that should do it. Yes! All right. <laughs> kind of cheesed my way there, but I got here. I'm hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Yes, I'm a holy man and not just like a dig holy man. Okay, this doesn't feel like a, a religious church. This feels like a cultist church. I love it. You've unlocked a new technology and got prayer of for faith. Okay. You can arrange a church service. I can't wait. Talk to the people. There's no one here. <laughs> Do you see people, a <laughs> bishop? <laughs> Should we talk? May the force be with you. Yeah, that's that's a good church sermon. I would amen to that. And the church has a basement. This is the greatest church ever. Oh, this must connect to my house. Anything useful down here? What the hell is this? <laughs> Looks like a potion table. <laughs> I just start chopping down the bookcases. Oh, important parts. I can extract the brain. Yes, I need to unlock this. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to craft enough things that I can get rid of that blockage in the, the basement. I want to try and be able to pass through to all my buildings in the underground tunnels to really seem like a cultist. You know, I want people to believe that I'm magic, and if I'm just emerging from the church basement every morning, 
They'll believe it. He's just waiting there to talk to me. I hope the place doesn't collapse. Like, I have no training to be doing this. This structural engineering. Try to convince him? No, try to threaten him. You may have a dagger, but I have a sword. I'm ready to die. Are you? Yes. <laughs> All right, I, I can't convince him. I guess I'm not holy enough. And I feel like if I try and force the issue, he will make me holy enough. God, where the hell does this come out? <laughs> This is a long tunnel. Oh, I can go to town through here? This is great. And what about this one? The hatch is closed. Oh, I gotta find it now. <laughs> it's gonna drive me mad. But that is much quicker than going through the wheat fields. So now I just have this goblin guy living in my basement. That's great. <laughs> he can just come up and murder me while I sleep, you know, to add on top of all the other issues with sleeping, like the ghosts and the skull and whatnot. I found this random grave. Should I grave keep it? Like, that that's kind of my job, I guess. I probably should. I don't know if I'm, like, covering for a murderer here or making myself seem like the murderer, but I fixed the grave. I'm busy. I can see that. You're pushing me. <laughs> I want to see where you're going. Okay, up he goes. All right, where? Hey. What? <laughs> Where did he go? All right, whatever. <laughs> He's magic. <laughs> another weird story to add to the pile. Like, oh, I'm from another universe of a basement. I got a magic wizard living in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, earlier I said that I wasn't being very efficient with my garden. It's coming back to bite me in the ass. I am struggling to fit everything in here. There we go. I'm making meat at the butcher table. I am. I raised some livestock and stuff and, and, and butchered them when you weren't, um, like, I just a while ago. I didn't say anything, but that that's the meat. It's not human. Okay, it's time to go meet up with my second best friend. And it did seem like there was something shady going on there, so I've disguised myself as this log. He didn't even know it was me. He didn't even say hello. He thought it was just a log running on by. It's the perfect disguise. Not now. Okay, well, just push me to where you want to talk with me. Here? Okay, great. <laughs> we need to make some preparations here. You can aid the Holy Inquisition. Yeah, as if I haven't got enough going on. Honestly, I don't think I need to help him. I think I can just take care of myself over in the graveyard. Like, I've got a whole church now. I can do my own thing. I'm gonna form my own cult. My own branch of their religion. It's funny because I wanted to skip to the day that I could have a church service on. So I've just been making them really tired so I can sleep. Making graves over and over again. And it's not just the ones on the ground. I also have all of these in my inventory. And I also have all these in the trunk. <laughs> if the village saw him, they'd be like, oh my god, is he... Is he expecting, like, an extinction event to happen in the village? Like, what? what is going on? It looks like you're doing all right here. Oh, we're on speaking terms again with the donkey. You're a true capitalist now, but this world has no such reward for a hardworking donkey like me. What? What the? It... It pooped on my path. <laughs> it's... Oh, I slide everywhere now. This is awful. I can't walk... Wait, let me clean this up. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to. Okay, well, I got carrot seeds. That's a little disturbing. I'm gonna claim this bit of property. This is mine now. We have a garden down here. I can plant my um, carrot seeds that I uh, purchased somewhere. I just... You wouldn't know of the place. It's in another village. There's a body just lying there on the side of the road. I'm not really into burying people anymore. I like... Uh, doing my garden work and doing my sermons. Ah, uh, no one showed up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I hyped myself up for this. I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna start praying. Oh, wait, no! People are here! Yes! <laughs> I don't know who they are. They're all in dark cloaks, which, you know, kind of suits it. I... I do think that's the kind of vibe I'm going for with my religion or, or cult or whatever you want to call it. I think I convinced one of them. They gave me one of these faith orbs. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm joining this cult. Look at this man. He's so powerful. Yeah, they're all giving up their faith now. <laughs> Understandable. Great sermon. Great sermon. Great sermon. Great sermon. Yeah, it was a pretty great sermon. They're even paying me. This is the business for me. Yeah, this is great. This body is still here. One second. The bishop is up there just watching me run by with this body. Like, huh, the morgue's that way, the graveyard's this way, why is he going that way? There we go, that's taken care of. Hey, what's up, Snake? I'm a religious leader now, so, uh, yeah, you gotta believe that I, I, I'm a nice dude. Now that he's my friend and he's okay with me, he's asking for favors already. I'm, st I'm still new to this, Snake. Like, you can't really ask me for a favor. I don't know you that well. And frankly, I'm done with helping everyone else. Like, I'm a cultist now. <laughs> I make easy money just getting up on the altar and saying whatever floats into my head. And I think I've set him up for a successful life here. I haven't got back to his original time, but this is even better. He's a cult leader now. So I will end it there, but thank you so much for watching. Check out more of my content here, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.